So I believe NVIDIA Studio drivers are better than the game ready drivers. Almost a year ago, I made a video on why I use NVIDIA Studio drivers. And it looks like many people agreed to this. Even after a year, I still believe NVIDIA Studio drivers are better than the game ready drivers. I know this video isn't about which NVIDIA driver is better, but this is something you should know. Because almost five months ago, I made a video on a software called NVClean Install, which is a great tool to update your NVIDIA drivers. Plus, you can debloat the NVIDIA drivers before you install them. This software already had a huge issue for me because it didn't have an option to choose which NVIDIA driver to install. It would automatically download and install a game ready driver. So there was no option to choose studio driver. And you know, I like studio drivers, but still I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna use this tool because it's a cool tool. But almost a month ago, I started to get an error while installing NVIDIA drivers using NVClean install. So I looked up on internet and I saw many people were facing the similar issue. The Windows Defender was blocking the installation file and we couldn't update or install the NVIDIA drivers. So I had to uninstall the NVClean install. So now I needed a, another NVIDIA updater tool because NVClean install wasn't working for me. And I believe still it's not working for many people. And maybe you don't know, but I don't like to use NVIDIA GeForce Experience app because I don't use any of the features that it comes with like shadow play, which I can use to record my screen gameplay and whatever. I just use OBS Studio. It is just much better than that. So basically NVIDIA GeForce Experience app is just bloatware for me. And luckily, we don't really need to install a NVIDIA GeForce Experience app. It's an optional feature. We can choose to install it or not. But there is a tiny problem that we can't get the updates without that. But thankfully, there are many tools out there such as the NVClean install, which I used for a few months and started to get errors and whatnot. So now finally, I have found another app. Really cool. I think this is the best app to update your NVIDIA driver. So the app name is NV Update, and this is a open source app. Unlike the NVClean install, NVClean install is actually a closed source app. So this is an open source app, really simple, really simple, but really powerful, at least for me, because it has an option to choose a game ready driver or studio driver. And you know, I like studio drivers. In my opinion, studio drivers are much stable than the game ready drivers. I will put a link in the description of my old video where I explained why I use studio drivers. So you should watch that video. So now basically this app is simple. I mean, it's super, super simple. It doesn't do anything. It just checks for update. That's all. And that's all I need actually. <laughs> so basically, you can see I have the up-to-date uh, uh, studio driver. I don't need to update. But if I go to the game ready driver, you can see there is a new update. To download the driver, I can click on this. And guess what? It will take you to the official NVIDIA drivers download page. And from here, you can just click on download and it will download. That's it. Simple. <laughs> Since I use studio drivers, I'm just going to go with the studio driver because I, okay, I love studio driver. Okay. They are just more stable. I never had any issue. Even recently when I used NVClean install and I had to use the game ready driver, I played Valorant. Sometimes the performance was really bad. I used to have a hiccups in the games. So yeah, Studio Driver never gave me any problem. So I'm just going to go with this Studio Driver. And you can make this app to run automatically. When you start your PC, just click on this run at Windows Startup, which will check for NVIDIA drivers automatically. Absolutely brilliant lifesaver app for me. <laughs> and it was recently updated too, like on April 1. Uh, this is May something, so it was updated almost a month ago. So basically, it's in active development. I know it doesn't do much, but what it does is just enough. And I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions, 
you can always do the comment. And if you have any suggestions, yeah, also do the comment. We can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.